so in today's video i've got another outfit that we're gonna be doing now for this outfit if you got the actual green joggers you can do it with it but we're gonna be using the fake green joggers because most of you guys probably don't got the actual green joggers so if you don't got the green joggers don't worry about it we're gonna be doing it with the fake ones so as always we are gonna be doing the transfer glitch which means you're gonna be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also if you don't have a rebreather or an earpiece make your way over to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece once you got that you want to come to the clothing store just set your spawn location to last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you guys are going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose So once you guys get loaded inside this room right here, you want to go over to your second character. Underneath your second character, it should say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and it should say edit. Once you got the edit option, just go ahead and select it. And when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here that's going to ask you do you want to make it into a 120. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you accept that alert, when your character gets in here, if it ended up being a male, change it into a female. If it ended up being a female, just leave it as a female. Go ahead and save and continue. Make a random name for it and take the picture. Once you take the picture, it's going to go ahead and load you inside of a new session. Once you guys get loaded inside your new session, the first thing that you want to do is hit your pause button, open up your map, and check to see if there are any clothing stores inside your session. If you see clothing stores inside your session, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. If you don't see any clothing stores, all you got to do is find a new session or just switch sessions, and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So one more time, when you get spawned inside your session, if you don't see any clothing stores, just with sessions or find a new session and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session but if you do see clothing stores just make your way over to the nearest one so once you guys get inside the clothing store first you want to come to the top section go to sport jackets and buy the dark red puffer jacket which should be number 102 so just come to sport jackets and buy the dark red puffer jacket so this one right here once you guys have got that, you're going to back out, stay in the top section, go to tank tops and buy the skull tank top. I already got it on, but you just want to go to the tank tops and buy the skull tank tops. So once you guys have got that, you're going to go ahead and back out, make your way over to the pants section, go to sport pants. And as always, you're going to buy the first ones, the spotted muscle pants. So just come to the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. Once you guys have got that, you're going to make your way over to the shoe section, go to the boots and buy the ox blood slack boots. So just come over here to the shoes, go to the boots and buy the ox blood slack boots. So these right here, ox blood slack boots. Once you guys have got that, you're going to make your way over to the accessories. Go to the earrings and if your female character has any earrings on make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings so if your female character has earrings on make sure you take them off 
once you take up the earrings you can go ahead and come save the outfit and as always make sure you save it in a empty slot that's on your main character so like for me the outfit that i don't want to lose my main character is in slot 20 so i will just save this in a different slot So once you guys have saved your outfit, you want to go ahead and back out, make your way over to the top section again, go to fitted suit jacket and buy the white bow and blazer. So come to the top section, go to fitted suit jacket and buy the white bow and blazer. Once you guys have got that, you want to go ahead and back out, open up your interaction menu, go to your inventory and you want to put on the super heavy body armor. So just go ahead and put on the super heavy body armor once you guys have got that you can go ahead and save the outfit and just save it right underneath of the previous outfit that you just made once you guys have saved it you want to go ahead and hit B or circle, go to standard outfit, and buy the chica outfit. Once you got the chica outfit, go ahead and completely back out, hit your pause button, go to online, and click on creator. Once you guys get loaded inside of here, click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get here, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific, I just put random stuff for it. After just go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on 2 and set the root type on point to point. Then hit your pause button, open up your map and warp over to the airport. Once you guys get loaded in at the airport, just hit B or circle your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that and click on checkpoints. Now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as the race is 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made the race 0.62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice and it should give you the option to test out the race and you want to go ahead and test it out. Once you guys finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you get loaded in, just hit your pause button, go to online, and click on choose character. Once you guys get loaded inside of here, you want to go over to your second character and you're going to delete her. So make sure you go over to your second character. You don't want to delete your main by accident. Go over to your second character and you're going to delete her. Once you delete your female character, two new characters should walk in. From here, just hit your back button and it should take you inside of single player. So just hit B a circle.
so once you guys get loaded into single player just hit your pass button go to online go to play gta online and you're just gonna go inside of a invite only session so all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session So when you guys get loaded inside your online session, the first thing that you got to do is make sure you save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn at, make sure you save your outfit and you would also want to make sure that you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge other outfits. Once you guys have saved that, from here, if you don't have the green joggers, make sure you buy what I buy. But if you got the actual green joggers, then just equip your green joggers and you're good to um, move on to crook cops. But if you don't got the actual green joggers, buy what I'm going to buy. So come to the pants section, go to cargo pants and buy the moss cargo. Once you've got that, make your way over to the shoes, go to the boots and purchase the charcoal tactical boots. So that's for the people that don't have the green joggers. So once you guys have got that, you want to go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online the jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and you're gonna start up crit cops now as always remember when you get inside the settings for crit cops you got to put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work so when you get inside the settings for crit cops make sure you put the clothing on player owned from there you can either invite a friend or just wait for a random to join So once you guys get loaded inside of here, just go down to own the outfit, hit right on the D-pad twice, and you should have the outfit in the thumbnail. From here, just go ahead and ready up. So once you guys are inside of Crit Cops, from here, all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you guys have got that, you're going to open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you guys get loaded in your um, online session, you should have your outfit on. From here, just come save it. Once you save it, you can go ahead and delete the component for it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like the outfit and were able to get it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share it, share it, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.